Hi gamers, um, I forgot that like everything broke, one second, I don't know, that up, um, everything broke a little bit, just a little bit, like a normal amount, why am I over there, it's such a weird place. gonna do I didn't really have any plan let me zoom in a little bit this is like oop there we go that's better I don't know I don't know what I was gonna do I like could do so much stuff but like I could I will okay it's not so much stuff I could do math but I kind of don't want to do math right now because I, I really should work on my essay that I have to write. And I can't write that. But I also don't want to write that right now. I've been trying to write it all day. It's really not that good. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking maybe we could just like... I don't, I don't know. I could play like some game or something. That's what streamers do, right? I don't know. What? 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 What games do people stream, bro? I don't know how this thing works. I only do math. I'm out of my element. Um, um, I could draw some. That'd be fun. I moved my tablet, though. Oh, you know what I could actually do? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. I have to, I have to cat a little bit. So I might as well do that until some people come in here. It's not really just chatting. This is this is CAD, but I don't think there's a <laughs> I don't think there's a uh, thing for that. Oh god, this is cropped. Okay, let's uncrop it. Um.
So, we're not, this is not a uh, 3D Dami, uh, sadly. This is, this is engineering stuff, yeah. This is CAD, so, um, I don't know. We could play games if you guys want to play games, but like, I don't have anything to do, so might as well do this. Um, I'm modeling a joint for, um, in Blender? Wow, I didn't know Blender could do CAD. It didn't used to be able to do CAD. Um, funny story, I also didn't want a CAD in Blender. I would rather CAD in SolidWorks, but um, I don't know how to install it with the, my university's license. I tried. It uh, wouldn't let me install it, so Blender CAD it is. It's actually not too bad, and I like it because I know how to use Blender, and it's really intuitive. Have I tried killing my professor? That'd be kind of funny, but the funny thing is, is, um, uh, we don't do CAD stuff. Is that something I take up with the IT help desk or library? Yeah, I'm just lazy. <laughs> I could literally go to the library and it would be fine and they would install it for me, but I am lazy. Um, and this is here and this is functional, so... Although the one thing I do like about it is it is super modular. The one thing I need to do right now is figure out how to properly center this with respect to its center line. I should make Damy 3D booty. So here's the thing is um, that would be so like, okay, let me, let me get out of this real quick. It's the easiest way to get out of this. Um, do anything else. Okay. Uh, actually, maybe not. Maybe I just do that. Can I not even... I'm gonna be honest, this is why I don't use- this is why I have a different file for my Sketcher file. Because I don't know if it can let you... Yeah, okay, I can. Okay, so let me add a cube. Right? Oh god, it's really big. So, you know how in like normal Blender, right, you can, um, you can go into this, you can like move these points around and, and, uh, you know, like let's say I wanted to take this surface and, uh, I don't know, subdivide it and then like, maybe we take this point and we like move it up and whatever. Um, that's not really how CAD works or, so what I'm doing is I'm using an add-on called a CAD Sketcher. And there are like two ways you can do precision modeling in Blender, or like if you want to do CAD in Blender, basically. There are two ways you can do that. Um, you can do what's called precision modeling because Blender actually does have a, um, a system to uh, add dimensions to stuff. All right, so you can see right here, or you can't really see that, but it's because chat's covering it. Uh, if I move this. No, that doesn't work. Fuck. Um, turn off chat for two seconds. Down here, you can see there's like this two meters. So things do have sizes um, that you can, you can use. And so you can just basically like put the stuff in there and then make it scale to the right thing. Or you can use this system, which is um, Sketcher which lets you create a plane basically and then extrude that plane. So as you can see, like this piece right here, this left base, this is just a sketch with a bunch of constraints on it that I extruded out with a solidify modifier. So the reason why it'd be really hard to make an ass in this is because an ass has a lot of like cutaways, right? Like it, it it's 3D profile is not is not like something that's just, I mean, I could make it like, I could do this. You could just, you could just make a booty like this. There's the leg. <laughs> Here's the other leg. Oh God. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little buggy. Could open up the sculpting tool space. Yeah, but then that's not CAD is the thing. That's not CAD is the thing. That is then just meshing, which is fine, but 
this is actually something I'm gonna 3D print, so... The only thing is, like, that's a little frustrating, is you can't reference off of um, different planes. So you see how, like, this base... Um, is an unknown failure. I don't want to, like, mess anything up. Wait, I'm gonna open... That's fine. Um, oh, you fixed your 3D printer? I really- I need to buy a 3D printer. Why is there a failure? Ugh. Man, there wasn't a failure in this before. Let me close this real quick. Don't save. Um, I really want to buy a 3D printer. But we have them here, so I don't need to buy one. Also, I'm trying to print with PTEG, so I need a heated base. Um, oh, it still has an unknown failure. I'll fix it later. Get an Anycubic? Wait, a resin? Does Anycubic do non-resin printers? I was just gonna go Ender 3, not gonna lie. <laughs> Whatever is the cheapest printer I can buy. Because cheapest printer with biggest bed. This, because, so what I'm trying to do is, uh, this is my little, this is my little outside passion project is, um, is, so I do lion dance, like Chinese lion dance, um, traditional dance, and we have uh, a bunch of lions, but they are very big and uh, they take up a lot of space, so we don't really have any way to like practice with them outside of official like practice times because we have to like store them somewhere and then bring them to practice. So, um, Cobernia is bigger than the Ender 3, less expensive and way better. Okay, I will definitely look into that 1000%. Um, but yeah, there's like no way for us to, to practice with the like an actual lion head for the people who are head because um, I, I don't tail. Um, so I'm trying to make a, uh, a collapsible lion head that's 3D printable, so it's a lot uh, less expensive for us to have them, and also we can kind of beat them up if people drop them or roll on them or crush them, which is always a concern. You have two vipers and a cobra go? Dude. Oh, I'm so jealous. I'm so excited for this summer where I can, like, just do... A bunch of a bunch of printing stuff. So okay, the thing I need to change here, it's all in millimeters. Does sound like Valorant stuff? I might be able to actually change my preferences, because I kind of want this to be in millimeters, not in meters. Entity scale? Wait. Decimal precision. Entity scale. It might only show- I'm like not mad if it's only in meters, but I kind of would like it to be in millimeters because then I can put- because the tolerance that I've seen suggested is like 0.3 millimeters, which is 0 0.004 I think. Go check the spot I left my other three 3D printers in AZ. Maybe they're still there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna change this dimension here. So this is... Oh god, 10, 10 millimeters. So I want this to be 10 point... Oh, uh, 03, I think? Wait, or is it 10.3? Let me check. Because like, for... Here we go, for the left base we can see or is the left base the bigger one the left base is the bigger one yeah it's like oops that's a zero. Oh, that's probably why it's probably because i constrained it with zero wait are these not actually o3 hum hum that's not great or did i make this one nine seven might have made this one nine seven. yep 0 0.0097 okay so it's it's 0 0.3, not 0 0.03. Cool. So we'll just flip this way. I actually do like Blender a lot for stuff. I feel like it's not that bad for... There we go. 
This was 25, so we changed this to 25.3. Just so we get that enough where it can, like, slide on. Because I don't know if I ever showed the actual... Um, idea I had for... Uh, this line's name is Ethernet, for Ethernet's um, frame on stream. But basically it's just like... Uh, this is for the... So the, the base of the head is sort of like a circle. It's split into two parts, so you slide it in from like the left or from the right. And then you put on... Um, before you slide it in... Where is it? That's the hole. There's the dome. Oh, I turned it off. You slide this part onto one of the sides, and it gets stopped by uh, by this stop block. Um, and this creates like the first of it creates the one that goes over the top. And then, since I didn't want to 3D print this exact same thing. Because the, the top is also split into two parts, but they interlock like the side by side way. I didn't want to split... I just didn't want to print two of these joints, so what I'm doing is I'm modeling the... Uh, where'd it go? This one, which is gonna... this is gonna like go on top, and there's gonna be a... Uh, what's it called? A uh, mortise and tenon. Here. Interlocking this top one with the eventual, the bottom one. You know, Damie sliding in the hole. Yeah, I mean, when you, it's, I want it to be no fasteners. So that means like no screws, no, you know, nails. It's going to be an oddly satisfying moment. It's like Ikea furniture, kind of, but for a lion head, which is really silly. Like the Japanese woodwork. Yeah, it actually kind of uses uh, Chinese woodworking principles, which I was pretty happy about because... It is like, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, <laughs> traditional forms of woodworking, traditional forms of, uh, I'm trying to figure out how I can center this with, with this. Maybe if I make these equal and then and make this point go here. But like... Oh god, no, not that. I can't- I can't move it that way. Um... Uh, I wanna just center this point. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> time to Google, time to Google, teehee. How to center a point. In CAD Sketcher. God, it's it's so jank like it's so janky, guys. I'm gonna be honest. Time to visit Blender Stack Exchange. It's like not even <laughs> it's like I can't even do it there because it's so janky. It's such so, such a new extension. It's only been like around for like eleven months or something. I know how to make, like, I just don't know how to reference the center point is the issue. For some reason it's constrained up and, well, I guess it's not constrained up and down, but I don't know why it seems like it's constrained up and down. I might just have an extra constraint there. There's probably like, zero answers for that question. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of messed. Um, but like, the stuff that I'm working with is easy enough that like, I don't really have to worry about it. Which is kind of nice. Um, I might be able to do it with... Maybe... Oh, I can center it with this one. Just... <laughs> what do you think you're gonna be suffering with Blender CAD? Just having the library install it? No, I won't give up. I won't give up. Okay, there is one cool thing. I, let me Let me show you one of the perks about this. Oh wait, I have to make these construction lines. There we go. Look, it's centered. It's centered. It's only one degree of freedom now. Wait, no, it's not. Um. 
Okay, wait, no, let me show let me show you the cool thing. Let me show you the cool thing. Look at this, look at this, look at this. This is this this is worth it, okay? Wait, where is it? I forget. Look at this. I can make it rainbow. Checkmate liberals. Checkmate liberals. This is worth it. This is worth it. Look at that. It's awesome. It's so dope. <laughs> it's, it's worth. It's worth. Okay, also, I will say. Let me, let me make the real case here. What do I have it on this? Let me show you what Ethernet looks like. Because... The thing is, right? I need to make I need to make this guy. If I tried to make this in SolidWorks, I think I would have to quit my major. I don't. I genuinely don't think so. Okay, okay, okay. Let me make let me let me, let me preface this. These uh, this is his top lip. This stuff is all gonna be like uh, modular. So the frame itself will be this. Um, for his style of lion, and then like I can have other lions, like different noses, different eyes, different whatever. But like this curve, bro. If I tried to do this in SolidWorks, if I tried to do this in Fusion, look at this thing. It's actually insane. <laughs> that would suck so bad. And what I can just do is I can look. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We can throw in. We throw in a, uh, a circle, put that over there, scale it down a little, go to this, go to modifier, no, maybe, I don't remember where this is, no, it's in geometry, it's in geometry, right? No, it's here somewhere, I'm trying to remember my, my roots, taper object, Bezier circle. No, not taper object. Ah, oh, fuck, what is it? What's it called? Oh, what is it called? It's in my brain, it's so close. It's definitely here. Oh no. It is, isn't it? I think it is taper. Is it not taper object? Taper. Wait a second, wait a second. It's gonna be so awesome. It's gonna be so awesome, guys, I swear. I, sw I, sw I swear. I swear. Bevel. Yeah, it's bevel, right? Wait. No, it's not a bevel. It is a taper op- It is a taper object! Bro, what the hell? Why is this not- Okay, it might just be, like, way too big. Come on. What's the craziest math class I've taken? Um, I mean, the highest level math class I've taken is uh, is linear algebra, but the craziest one, I really feel like Calc three is pretty hard, especially depending on your uh, depending on like if you have a good teacher or not. Look at that. That isn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh god. No, go back. It's not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. Vector calculus is pretty crazy. Uh do I know vector cal Vector calculus is like linear analysis, right? I'm so sad I can't get this to work. I don't remember how I did this before. Maybe it's not a Bezier circle. I mean, that's not- maybe that's not the thing. Maybe that's not the right thing. What was it? Oh, maybe it's nub circle? Maybe it's nubs? Oh, Laplace transformation? Yeah, I have to take that next quarter. Maybe I just have to scale this up, actually. Wait. Uh, I just saved. I just saved. That's not what I want to do. What is it? Alt S? Nope. <laughs> oh god, blender shortcuts. 
Okay, well, there is a way to just really easily extrude this depending on a, a geometry. Anyway, but yeah, I can just like put this in and then I can like put it into a parts drawing and I can just like make it and it's really easy. So that's nice. Um, I heard aerospace engineering is the craziest major. I think it depends on what your, uh, I think anything where your work is going to directly like put humans in danger is kind of crazy to me. So like aerospace or civil is like really scary. Whereas like for me, like mechanical engineering, if I'm not working on cars or something, like it doesn't seem as scary. Like if I'm working on machines, I would just kind of like not how people <laughs> define what the craziest thing to major in is. But like, I have to take a lot of like systems and thermo and all this other stuff, like, which people might think is hard. I don't know. It, I think it depends on what you like doing. A lot of trade, oh, like HVAC? Yeah, HVAC can, but also, like it can, but also, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, uh, delete. Wait, I can't delete that. Hello? Okay, there we go. Um, it's also like, how do you mess up, like... <laughs> how do you mess up putting in air conditioning? That's why it's not as scary to me. I would work in HVAC. You're fixing a burning furnace? Bro, what the hell? That's crazy. That's bonkers, actually. Okay, we're gonna try and try and center this again. Um, I'm going to, is this, are there two lines here? No, right? No, right? Right? Okay, no. <laughs> Service call as usual, that's wild. Okay, I can actually add a, if I add lines here, make them equal to each other, then set a distance, I think that should constrain everything. So what I'll do is go here, deselect that, Shift E, so that those are equal to each other. All right, so now we, if we move these up and down, we have a degree of freedom. But if we do some trigonometry, oh fuck, man, I don't want to do trigonometry. Can I just like? Can I just? Okay. Watch this quick hack. We just don't do that. Igniter or burner were out of order. That's wild. Like I went to um, my, so my school is one of only a couple schools that has a, like a concentration that you can declare that's for specifically HVAC. And we have like a lot of partners, business partners in HVAC. Um, so, you know, it's like, they, they, they want us to like do HVAC for Emmy. Can I explain Kramer's rule? Kramer's rule is like when you have a four by four, a two by two matrix, right? Am I remembering correctly or is that something else? I think I actually maybe get rid of these sides. Not quite sure, let's see. If I, oh, that's not how I do that. I get rid of these. Yeah, we're chilling. So then I just have to see, I think if I just set this to one, 10.3 millimeters. Be 10.3 millimeters. And we leave that, yeah, hell yeah. That's looking pretty- that's looking pretty sexy, honestly. Should be a little taller than that, yeah? Nice. This part doesn't really matter because on the top, this uh, stop block won't be here. This is just to make sure that it doesn't- that the, um... Ugh, that the side frame doesn't really move around too much. I have no clue if these tolerances are gonna be good, by the way. 0.3 of a millimeter might be like- way too tight and i really don't want to have to sand 
but let me let me look up Kramer's rule real quick actually. Kramer's rule is is it just let's see. Oh, set theory? I'm not actually required to like take past linear al uh, linear analysis. So we do like systems and stuff because we need to use that obviously for mechanical systems and setting up that stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't really have to do any sort of theoretical math. Although I have a friend, a close friend who's who just decided that they were going to make a minor in math because you only have to take like, I think five more classes um, from like what our degree requires or our major requires. So like, I don't think I'm going to minor in math, but I might just end up taking some extra math classes if I have time. Oh, the solution to EFED Kramer's rule. Eigenvalues! I like eigenvalues. I had my first introduction to eigenvalues was with um was with uh AI actually. I was looking at the old PCA algorithms um for facial recognition and they were talking about eigenvectors and, and eigenfaces, like to create faces of people. It was kind of kind of awesome actually. Here, now I can show you guys how to do this. So look, so we can turn this into a mesh. And if we leave, and then you see that's a mesh, then we add a solidify modifier. And I can just say, I think that's actually the 10 centimeters that I need. So yeah, I can just say that. And then bam, there we go. There's our little thing. And the only thing I don't like about this is you can't really group sketches together. And like, for example, if I want to make a mortise or like, a, I think, I don't remember which one's the mortise and which one's the tenon, but if I want to make my outer little uh, joint part here, I can't really do that um, until I, like it, I have to add it as a new sketch, which is just kind of annoying. I don't think you can group them, can you? No. This is ironic with that name title with the intro wording. Yeah, I mean, setting up linear algebra stuff or linear analysis stuff, again, generalization because I haven't taken linear analysis yet, but it is a very vocab heavy study, I think, because it's like the first math that you take that's not just like straightforward math. It's like you need a lot of new terms to define a lot of the new stuff in a new way. A lot of people think that calculus is a high level class, but it's debatable. I think so too. Like, and that's like why I want to teach calc like online. Like actually I will do lectures. Um, I can't this year because I, my um, schedule for being able to stream is like really dependent on my roommate because I share a room. So, um, but next year I'm going to be living like not by myself, but in a different setup, so I'll be able to record more and stuff. Um, and I, I think that calculus is like one of those things that is actually a lot easier than people think. But base data shows that calculus is more like a wipeout class. It prevents people to, from getting into comp science engineering. I have, I think that it's it's really fascinating because like. To me, calc is something that, it's like a do-over. Like if you were having trouble in other math classes and you wished that you could go back and like get another chance at trying to learn stuff from the bottom up, like with fresh eyes, calculus is like a breath of fresh air. Cause like you get to do that. Um, Obviously, if you have a hard, like if you're, if you struggle with other concepts, like it's gonna, you know, come back to bite you um, in a bad way. Like if your professor can't like help you with that, like there is trig, 
but inherently calculus doesn't need trick. Like I could explain calculus to like a five-year-old, you know? You don't need to know what like cosine is. <laughs> you don't even need to know what like a function is really. It's all just like how much something is changing or how much has something changed over a period of time. That's all, that's all that like most of calculus is. They tend to ask for a lot of inverse trig and crazy related rate physics problems. Yeah, that's because teachers are silly. It's because they're, they're being silly. Like my calc one class, okay, well, I really shouldn't talk. Cause like my, uh, I'm gonna call this, wait a second. I actually need to concentrate a little bit for a second. There we go. My, um, wait, what did I call the other one? This was top base. Yeah, top, so top base. Uh, we'll call them tenants. Um, every question in my final were trig. Oh my god, that's awful. There's more to calculus than trig. I mean, trig is very important, but I think what people tend to do with trig is they'll see it as like, like I think trig is cool because. Trig is what we use to model like a lot of natural phenomena, you know, like waves or like relationships between like things that are happening, like vectors and, you know, forces and stuff like that. And we use trig as like a framework to sort of understand those. But a lot of people that like use trig a lot, like a lot of teachers, I feel like just use it because they know that people like are going to have a hard time with it. And that's kind of messed. Of course, complicated stuff is cool when you can understand it. it makes you feel smarter. I, I don't know. I don't really see it that way. Like, one of my favorite things, I think, in general about STEM, like, it's kind of silly, but like, I just love the idea. It's like very comforting for me to know, like, that every action that we do like, there is an opposing action for that. Like, just that concept from physics, like, really comes up a lot. Just like when I'm walking around and stuff, sometimes I'll think about it and I'm like, damn, that's pretty, that's pretty cool that we, like, know that. The cost to, to learn them are too high. Well, that's why I'm, that's why I want to stream. And that's why I want to, like, help people out. Wait, let me go turn on some lights. Because, like, I, yeah, I, I think it sucks that, like, people can't learn calc because that was me dropping my headphones on the floor. <laughs> because... You know, like, they can't afford it. I think that college should be free, or higher education should be free, so that people can, you know, do... have more options open to them and learn about the world more. Sometimes not worth the high stake to invest in them. Yeah, I totally get that. And it just really sucks. Like, it's so depressing that we haven't figured out as like a society just how to be better about that like come on guys can we not have can we not have figured that out yet okay this is gonna be really easy i want two rectangles one here okay that's fine now i want to make this and this and this and this equal okay that didn't work this and this equal. I don't know why that's- oh no it is. Unknown failure? What the hell? Trig is even more crazier in physics engineering, like pendulums? It's so fun- okay. My physics classes are like hella easy compared to my high school physics classes. Like, bro, <laughs> I- I mean, I don't know if I ever streamed like my labs. I don't think I really streamed my lab. Maybe I did. I think that was before I was saving VODs. No, that would have been when I was saving VODs maybe. But like, I don't remember if I ever streamed like my physics labs and stuff I had to do. But like in high school, like we had to like design our own labs. Like they would just say, find the relationship. Or like we had to like prove Snell's law on our own like through experimental physics. And it was super fun and it was super cool. Cause it was like, oh shoot, like we have to figure out how to 
how to do that. But, um, it was just like, and then I come to college and it's like, I don't know, it, it's, it's fascinating that it's not as, uh, oh, is that just over-constrained? What, what is happening? Uh, oh, oh, I see. <laughs> it's a flunk called Labs. Labs can be tough, Labs can be tough. I think this is now. Nope, that's not correctly constrained. This and this should be equal. Nope. <laughs> Trial and error. Um, I do want this distance to exist. There's a construction line. Um, and I want this distance to also be the same, so that shouldn't why is that an issue? Am I taking fluid mechanics right now? No, I have... That is a gr that is actually a really interesting question because I don't know what it's called, which is really strange because so... I took two years of physics in high school. One of them was mechanics. That was also waves. Um, and the other one was basically everything else. So like we did fluids, Thermo, uh, electromagnetics, circuits, you know, uh, quantum a little bit. But what's weird is that my second year here, or a second quarter here, is it's waves, it's optics, and it's, um, and it's, what's the third one? Thermo. And then the third quarter here is only E and M. So like, I don't know when we do fluids. There's a class that I have to take called Dynamics, um, which might be it, but I'm not, I'm not sure if there's like, I, I'm sure I have multiple uh, fluids classes. Um, let's see. So yeah, there's dyna- oh, Fluid Mechanics 1. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fluid Mechanics 1, Fluid Mechanics 2, and other stuff. Some problems like rolling ball in an inclined plane can be tough. Yeah. Yeah, physics is... It's really a language of its own. It's sort of like... I don't know, I think that... I've always been the pers kind of person where... The way that I like learning best is sort of like, I'll take what I learn from lecture or from textbooks or whatever, and then I'll try my best to sort of like own the material myself in a way. Like, think of a framework where it makes sense to me in the physical, like, world. Um, and a way to like justify that and for me to like remember it. And that's, that's sort of the, like how I can understand stuff. A lot of trig uh, derivatives in your physics exam. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of trig in physics. Like there's a lot of casual trig in physics, which is like a totally different thing too. Like it's a totally different, uh, it's a totally different like mindset about trig. And even if you get good at like regular trig or whatever, like getting good at like that casual type of trig is not easy either. Okay, I need, this distance to be equal. You drew a gummy bear? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I see I have a notification. There's a, there's a, there's a bone in that gummy bear. That's a lovely gummy bear though. Except for the part where there's a bone in it. <laughs> I would not eat bones. I'm not gonna eat humans. How dare, it's a finger? Well, there's a bone in the finger. Trig is hard to learn. Trig is hard to learn. And like for me, it's, Trig is like, it's not that it's hard to teach. It's just, I need, I, I definitely, definitely wanna do like uh, a series on Trig because, I'm gonna delete this and redo this. Um, because I really do want to like give people a more 
like not even, I don't know how to describe it. It's not even like that it's not taught conceptually. But the problem I have with Trig is like, I call this top base, uh, tennis, is that I think that the idea that Trig is just about triangles and that like normally that's how people start to learn Trig instead of about like, cause like it, it, it's just not, it's not the easiest way to think about Trig. And when, the amount of people I talk to who like don't like the unit circle or who don't really understand how to use the unit circle as like a quick like mnemonic almost to like do stuff with Trig. I mean, and I'm not saying like that's the only way you can do it. I just, man, man. <sighs> size, size deeply. It, it's just frustrating, I guess. Not, not like that I'm mad at people for not knowing Trig. It's just frustrating that the way it's taught is so like concrete, I guess, when it's like, it, it shouldn't really be like that. Okay. I think I should do this so I don't over constrain things because I think if I make a rectangle, it might automatically add constraints to it. And if I do this, then it won't automatically add constraints necessarily. I was studying some trig a long time ago in HVAC trade school. It was about some sine wave and phase shift, which is mental. Yeah, um, phase shifts are totally like useful to know about. Um, I had to do like, that is what I was doing in physics like now or like the last chapter I was doing. Okay, that I can't do. Why can't I do that? I don't understand that. I don't understand why I can't constrain that. Oh, I think it's because they're already equal. The Trigon Transformers? Oh, I don't know what that is. I guess I should just start adding some dimensions. Um, yeah, I don't like that, but I think if I constrain stuff, then it should be okay. All right, so right now we have up from the bottom, we want to be, we want to get it at this plane. And this plane is um, currently not <laughs> constrained to anything. Great, awesome, um, cool. Wait, yes, it is constrained. It's con okay, okay, okay. It is constrained. I lied. <laughs> oh, we good, we good. Oh yeah, transformer. Yeah, I know about transformers. I know about transformers. I just don't like know the trigonometry behind them. <laughs> I didn't know you went to HVAC trade school. That's pretty cool. Did you go for like installation or like design of HVAC or like, did you have to like learn welding and stuff? I think this is 0 0.3, 0 0.3 millimeters above. I can check. Cause we want these tenons to go, well, I'll make it like maybe 0.6 or something. Now I'll make it 0.3. Come on, come on. Okay, it's not letting me select it. Awesome. That's really cool. That's really awesome. <laughs> oh, some copper brazing? I had to do brazing. There we go. This technician trade not cool at all? That is so cool, bro. Dude, people, uh, let me tell you. We have like manufacturing courses that we have to take like labs. People are so into those. Like I, people clamber for those. This is five millimeters, I think. Visually, does that make sense? Yes. It is dangerous as fuck. Yes, that is so true. Well, and that's why like, I think one of the most interesting things 
that I hear people say is, right, like people who try and make the make the argument for like why more people should go to trade school. It's like, yes, we should have more people in trade school, like we should tell more people it's an option, but also like you are sort of trading off like your body or your safety for that. Cause like if you're if you're trying to go to trade school like for welding or something, like it's not like that's not dangerous. <laughs> and that's kinda that's kinda scary. Okay, so we don't want that 0 0.5, because that's going to be a little too in. We want like half of 0. 0.5. Well, I guess we need to figure out how big the tent is going to be first. We'll do that. Um, Installing the copper tubing is, is no joke. Yeah. Wait, shit. That's not what I wanted, actually. I forgot. Uh, We want this to be... This, this... 5.3. There we go. Wait, is that not... What? I don't know shit about HVAC, I'm just a boomer. Why is that not 0.3? That is somewhat worrying. Um... What did I have this as? Zero point one. Oh three. Wait. Oh point. Oh, is this not equal from side to side? It should be. Um. Okay. Oh no, it's not equal from side to side. Haha. <laughs> Squirrel cage can be crazy to fix. I don't know what. I don't know what you mean by that. That seems scary. Midpoint? Can I- oh, don't- oh. Midpoint. No, it's not right. Fuck. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, what did I do? Oh god, I don't- Okay, so... So that's not what- we're not gonna do that. I can still move this, which is bad. Um, I need a constraint that will let me- Alright, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. This to this. Um, I will make these construction lines and I think that'll fix it. Maybe. Nope. Okay, awesome. Dope. Oh wait, I don't want them to be... They can still be construction. Come on, go back. Okay, or not. This is not a vertical... This is not a vertical line. How do I... How do I unconstrain that? Blower motor. Oh, it is an electric problem you had to quit? Too complicated to fix? That's cr that's bonkers. Delete that constraint. Okay, and then delete this constraint. Okay, we're okay there. I want this and this to be equal. Is that still... Fully defined sketch. Okay. That didn't fix this problem. <laughs> so why do I have- wait a second, why do I have- No, that's right. The only thing that's easy to fix is a fan motor? I've never tried to fix either of those, so I, uh, I would not know. Oh, I know why this is happening. And that is actually a very useful uh, observation that I just had. Because this is two and I'm defining the distance as one, I can't do three, it has to be six. There we go, that's why it looked off. Now we're chilling. In the outside, the only, in the outside condenser, which doesn't, you don't have to crawl up to the attic? Oh my God, that's crazy. So you were like installing HVAC stuff then in like homes? A tough trade, I would rather do plumbing. Yeah. I mean, I've seen people, like, home install HVAC stuff. Um, like, in ceiling air conditioning and, and stuff. And it just is, like... I don't know. I would rather design systems that are going to be put in while the building is being built than, like, install systems 
or homeowners or something or like do like home stuff you know you don't did evaporating installer and ice it was insane oh wow freezing all day all night bro no so is that why you switched to comp sci i mean i'd get it if that was the case understand let's see okay so this is right now um all right so the one thing i gotta check how wide is this and how big you're trying to yeah this is did i not constrain this distance oh i need to do math Awesome. Is this also wrong then? This is also wrong. You flunked high school math? That's all right. There are a lot of smart people I know who didn't do well in um, high school. I have a really good friend who um, it's just so hard because like the environment is so different, you know? And you don't like get another chance, which is stupid. You only- you're definitely brain smart. I've only worked my hands, not in knowledge base. That's so fascinating. Okay, so this should be 0.5 then. Let me just check if this is 0.5. Or uh, 5 millimeters. At a distance? Whoa. Don't know why that tried to constrain there. Nope, not a diameter, please. Okay. <laughs> this is why this is a little, a little, uh, a little silly. Okay, so that's not five millimeters. <laughs> not, not, yeah, not knowledge. You'd rather do water tubing? Huh. 0.56. Oh, 2.56. Why did I do that? 2.5? So that's 1.5. So 1. <sighs> God. Okay, 1.5. So. Alright, 1.5. So that would be 75? 7.5 then. Oh, God, me. Why did I do that? Makes my math harder. Because I didn't, wasn't thinking about it. Okay, that's 75. That is not what I meant to type. 7.5 millimeters. There we go. Okay, that's right. Because installing furnace, furnace gas pipe is dangerous? Yeah. For sure. Okay. So that's 7.5 millimeters. Oh god, I should have just drawn a sketch for this before I did this. But I was like, no, I know it enough. I don't need to draw. A I don't need to draw a part drawing. And here I am going. Let's draw part drawing. <sighs> Let me see. So this is 0.75. No, sorry, 7.5 millimeters. Where my calipers. Oh, throw the way over there. I need to see it with my with my hands and my eyes before I commit. I need like the calcium in ice machines can be tough to clean. Oh, like in the pipes? Is that like the condenser or is it a machine that makes ice? Should properly make this 7.5. Okay, so that's 7.5. God, I need to make this 10 and pretty big then. If I divide it by two. Oh, ice machine makes ice, like in the motels, yeah. What if I did three? Oh 
God, I wish I didn't make it 0.5. I guess I could just not make it 0.5 and then I wouldn't have the issue. Okay, I think three is actually, three millimeters is it's not solid. Drainage can be tough to install as well. Yeah, I feel like it could, it definitely would be. Did you ever have like, what was your favorite job that you worked on? Or like favorite site or whatever, I guess. And then we bump this out, so this is 5.3 plus. Plus, we have 7.5 minus 3. That's going to give us 4.5. Now 4.5 divided by 2 equals 2.25. I don't know if I can get that. So plus 2.25 equals 7.5. Five five. Yeah, it's not actually perfect, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Probably in Yellowstone for a wood job. Oh, that's fascinating. Like building the dock in the thermal area. That's so cool. Like, I know that I know that like trade stuff is super dangerous. And like also just like construction in general. But I feel like you get to work on a lot of cool stuff, you know? That's part of what I like about engineering is like... Is that. But I also realized that it's only cool to see the scenery nearby. I don't know. I think that designing that stuff is cool and then being the one that builds it is like definitely less cool. And more dangerous. Ugh, the .6 is killing me. Actually, what's killing me here? It's killing me that I made this like 0.75. That's really not that cool. I think I need to make this thicker. Hear the wolves howling at night? God damn. If I made this three. So 30.3 millimeters. That makes my life a lot easier. Does it actually? I think it does. Yeah. Other than that, not much fun at all. Yeah, yeah. So that means this is 10 now. So if I did four, then I could do three. This would be if this was four. Or should I do five? Four, we'll do four. This was 5.3. So now this is the 8.3. Why point three? Oh, 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 okay. Yes, yes. Auto mechanic is boring. Had to stay all day, all night in the auto shop. Wow. Oh, you worked on cars too. Oh, it's so cool. Wait, did I actually put it on wireframe somehow? I've never turned it on wireframe in my life. How did I do that? Okay, so now I think what we can do is. Do a little silly funny. Oh, there's a degree of freedom still? Where's the degree of freedom? Where's my degree of freedom, bro? Is it? No? 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 Where is it? Just helper, definitely not professional. Yeah. Not there. Oh, it's down. It's down. Oh, yeah, of course it's down. <sniffs> Silly me. Um, that's a good question. How far do we want to go down? Um, well, this whole thing is... Most I did was installing transmission. That's a lot. I wouldn't- I don't think I could install a transmission. This is one- this is 15... 15 millimeters. It was crazy to hold the transmission? Yeah. Oh, this should be 15.3 millimeters. But then this should be down more. Oopsies. No, is that right? Oh, it's kind of tough to say. No, 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 no. I set this one up with an offset. So that's right. 
It was crazy to hold the transmission. Ball joint is easy to install. Dude, it's so cool that you know that stuff. Like, I- okay. The most I've done- I took apart a lawnmower engine. Like, down to, like, the camshafts and stuff. But, like, it was literally like a two-cylinder engine. It was not a two-piston engine. Two-cylinder? Two-piston? Yeah. It was not uh, the most difficult thing in the world, let's just say. Okay, how far down is this gonna go? This is gonna go... <sighs> if it goes 15, maybe like 7? Is 7 millimeters too much? Is that like a ridiculous... <laughs> Bro, that's good. Bro's compensating. Let's try with five? Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah. <laughs> that's still a lot. The four is better, four is better. It, yeah, okay, make it a square, make it a square, make it a square. There we go. <laughs> that was like a lot. That was a lot of tenon. I actually don't know which one is- wait, wait. Which is the mortise and which is the tenon? The mortise is the hole, and the tenon is the piece it's going to into. It is the tenon. It's a tough trade. Yeah, I've watched, like... I mean, the reason I majored in mechanical engineering was because, like, I found stuff on YouTube, and then I was like, wait a second, you can do that as a job? And I was like, holy shit, that's what I want to do instead of comp sci. <laughs> and then, like, over the past couple years, because that was, like, that was, like, two or three years ago, um, but like, as the, uh, as the years went by, I just like, got more and more into just like, more trade stuff, so like welding or like, you know, auto stuff, and I see people who do like repairs on cars or who like try and, uh, like, fix cars or, you know, like, or, or change like engine types or, or convert them or whatever, and I'm like, Oh my god, there's so many moving parts, like, holy shit. <laughs> CompSci is overrated. I think CompSci- okay, it's it's really weird because CompSci to me is like... CompSci is like breathing to me. Like, I've done it since I was so young that it almost doesn't even feel like something that I would want to work in because I've just known it like all my life, like I know it like too well. Like, it's not enough like for me to- and I don't know nearly, you know, as much about comp sci as, like, uh, as people who, you know, do it. But it's just one of those things where it's, like, it's, it, it, it opens up a lot of opportunities, I think. It should be 0. Point, or no, 5 millimeters. Yes. Perfect. Centered. Um, it opens up a lot of opportunities, but I think as a field, it is very oversaturated right now. I do think it is a skill that any sort of engineer or person who wants to work on designing things should know. What is this? Was four millimeters? Now I have to fix this offset. Uh, what was my offset? Like, over here? Let's see. Sketcher. You can just check this. Okay, eight, eight, three, but like we subtract five, right? Three, three, I think. Don't quote me on that. Uh oh. It reset my transform location, but that's okay. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Why? 3.3. Is that right? Is it just 3? I think it might just be 3. Because I don't know if this is... I think, yeah, I think I didn't add the extra. Because I don't need to add a... The thickness can be the thickness. And the thickness of this is 4, right? Yeah, 4 and also. Yippee! We did it, chat. Look at that. So yeah, then the rest of the frame will come off this way. And this way. And then I'll make the other side of this piece that's like the one that, that goes... That has slots that fit into there. It's all very small. And I might have to scale it up, but I'm okay with that. Um, I really should go re-dimension the actual 
thing I'm basing this off of as well, but I just have not had the time to do that. I should probably wrap up soon and like get some food and then write my essay after write. My essay is, is so bad, guys. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. It's bad. It's bad. It's okay. Gotta make it better. It's just a rough draft, so like it doesn't have to be good. But still, it's bad. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up here, because I don't want to do the- the bottom is just gonna be the exact same thing, because you can't duplicate sketches, which is one thing that's really annoying. I really wish you could duplicate sketches. I mean, I guess I could just duplicate the mesh. Wait a second. Big brain moment. Big brain moment. We take this mesh. We shift D. Um, that's control D. <laughs> we rotate Y 90. Wait, we sorry. We rotate, rotate Y 180. Bam. <laughs> Big money. Big money. Eggs. Uh, and then this is... No, Z. Negative 0 0.3 millimeters. No, other way. 0 0.3 millimeters. Big money. Big money. Look at that. I actually don't know why I gave a tolerance there. Do I need a tolerance there? Because these are clamping over it. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, there's a. I should probably put a tolerance on the bottom. I should probably keep it like that. But make these longer. Wait, fuck. I'll figure it out. 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 <laughs> well, yeah, it'll look something like this. And then these will be holes. But I can actually just scale those up. Perfect. It's like a seat belt, and sort of not at all. But it's this is this joint is actually just gonna get worse and worse because at the top right the, right now this is the intersection of two frames right there's three pieces there's the bottom there's the one that goes across and the one that goes across the other way there's gonna be like eight frames that fit into this there's gonna be like six things converging here not sure how that's gonna go together not sure about that I think it's gonna be some really complicated, uh, really cool, um, just really cool, like, uh, mortise and tenon stuff. Like, that it'll be, like, you put all four in, and then you clamp this down, and then this, like, holds everything together. I'm also- I kind of want to put, like, a, uh, what is it called? Like, it's just, like, a pin, like, in the top that, like, that, like, snaps on from the bottom. Just like really hold everything together. But I kind of want to try this to just see if this is like good enough. I guess I could also make the top so that there's another one here so that this can only clamp down in one place. That I should probably do. But this is sort of just like a proof of concept of like the two basic joints, which are... Which are... This, oops, not that. This, this one where it like slides on and then, oops, not that. And then this top and bottom one and how it clamps over. But yeah, that's what I do in my free time chat. It was, it was fun to hang out. I want to do more like talking streams cause I know that like math can, I like doing math as a background thing. Um, and obviously I will keep doing math and physics and other stuff, but. Sometimes it's a little bit more accessible to do something that isn't just, like, numbers. I'm gonna go write an essay. And, uh, I will actually stream tomorrow. If nothing goes wrong, I guess? I have a bunch of free time. We'll probably be doing triple integrals. Or I might give up on that. Actually, no, I lied. We're probably gonna be doing triple integrals with like integral calculator up next to it because it's a lot of calculation and I am not here for that.
My professor was like, wow, I gave you guys problems with a lot of calculation for this section, didn't I? And I was like, did someone say integralcalculator.com? Um, so <laughs> that will probably happen. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out. I think this is actually looking pretty good. I can definitely... I, I, my goal is to start printing this kind of soon. So I might get to, I might show the, the, uh, 3D printer, like, head, I guess, guy, uh, this so that he can help me <laughs> print it. So maybe by, like, Friday, or if I, like, I don't know, I probably, I'll probably stream Saturday. Actually, I lied, I probably won't stream s I'll probably stream Sunday. But, yeah, okay. I'll see you guys later. Um, have a good night. I hope, uh, hope you all are having a good time. Have a good, have a good week. Have a good whatever, and I, I will be back tomorrow. Crazy, right? Crazy. Two Davy streams in a row? What the hell? Okay, bye!